Now, Shatawale made a statement. Now, Bernard Boy re reacted. The same time, a Nigerian artist had come out to say, say, to say some derogatory statement about Ghana, Ghanaian women. Right? Fine. Now, my problem with this whole thing is, when Shatawale's issue came up, Shatawale was the only person fighting Nigerians. And what was Shatawale fighting for? Shatawale was fighting for the independence and the total uh, over, over, uh, monopoly of Ghana music or Ghana, in the, Ghana entertainment industry by Ghanaians. Basically, that's what Shatawale is fighting for. But there was one thing I saw. Nobody in this industry was able to stand up. I saw one or two people try to dance around the issue. To stand up and defend and stand with Shatawale. You know why? Nobody did that because your me, me, the, the entertainment industry is an industry which is made up of hypocrites. That is the main reason why today Shatawale is so powerful. He is not powerful because he feeds somebody. He is not powerful because he is more talented than everyone. He is powerful before because he stands by his, 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 uh, what he believes in. And that is what the Nigerians, that advantage in the Nigerians, now, they've taken from us. Don't we see these Nigerians? And with all due respect, I have a lot of respect for Nigerian and their artists. But for Bernard Boy to ignore that statement by a Nigerian artist in reaction to Shatawale's statement that Ghanaian woman, to jump, and you know, with Bernard Boy's statement, oh, I didn't care who, but there was one statement Bernard Boy made that I said he is silly. He's not matured enough. Because if you tell yourself, say, you are bigger, you are stronger, you are more talented. You are recognized worldwide. You don't make some silly statements. For Bernard Boy to make a statement like, I will make life difficult for him and I can end his life. And nobody in Ghana had an issue with that statement. It shows that those people sitting on TV, UTV, uh, entertainment nonsense they do, they're led by Nanama Bak Brown. I respect you a lot. By you. You don't even know what you're doing there. Those boys sitting on GH1 and those people calling themselves media pundits, entertainment pundits, you are the foolish ones destroying the entertainment, the industry. Because for Bernard Boy to, to threaten a Ghanaian, because I never saw it anywhere. Ah, Shatawale Kache Bernard Boy say, I'll kill you. I'll pull a gun at you. I'll make your life on God. No, no way. But this guy calling himself Bernard Boy, I don't care. He's talented. He's good in his music. He's good at what he does. But he cannot threaten a Ghanaian. He cannot sit in Nigeria and tell a Ghanaian artist that because you said this, because you are saying that we are taking so much from you people, I'm going to make life unbearable for you. I'm going to, that is the lowest point of an artist calling himself a banner boy. So for Ghanaians to sit timidly and listen and make this go, it shows say, our industry is full of ignorant, selfish people. I don't respect any of those guys in our music industry, from the old to the young. Because the guy technically said, I'll kill you, Shatawale. Out of Ghana, anywhere you go. And you people shut up. Because Shatawale has his own empire. Because some people in the industry have not been able to build what Shatawale has built. He's not Jesus. He has his flaws. Sometimes he fools around. Sometimes it is his own way of causing his own traffic. But it does not mean that who is Banner Boy? Banner Boy looks like a, 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 a Mexican. His torso is longer than his legs. And I don't entertain fights. I don't entertain that thing where musicians are pulling guns at it. But for a musician like Bernard Boy to say, I can destroy you, I can take you out of the street. It is a big statement. There are Nigerian artists in Ghana. But they live in Ghana. Why? Because their country is not safe. Because their career can be ended in a minute in their own country, Nigeria. Your whiskey and those call Minini boys who come to Ghana to sleep with small, small girls. You know? Why are they not living 90% of their life in Nigeria? They'll be slaughtered. They'll be killed. Apart from Ghana, go to, Ni go to South Africa and play a Nigerian song in a club. They'll shut it down. It is only Ghana. Ghana is the springboard of Nigerian music. You don't know that? Because we are the only people who speak the same language with them. We are the only people who can promote their music. Nigerians know their springboard in their music industry, especially movie and, and music, it is in Ghana. The only place they can propel that their industry or get their, their needed attention is going through Ghana. <clears throat> and Bernard Boy knows that. And the Whiskey, they know that. And the Davidos, they know that. That is why they spend more time in Ghana because it is only somebody who understands your language that can promote what you believe in. So for Ghanaian musician, 
for the people in the industry to look on for a Nigerian artist who thinks he's powerful than anybody. I am Ghanaian, and I'll never let any Nigerian run down any Ghanaian artist. Never. Who is Bernard Boy? When did he come? What has he seen that Shatawale hasn't seen? Where has he performed that Shatawale can perform? Shatawale, as Shatawale, he has not begged Bernard Boy for a cent. He has no right to tell him that I'll take you off. That statement alone should tell the people of Ghana that guy does not deserve to enter Ghana. He can sell his music everywhere, hundred billion dollars. Nobody cares. What Shatawale has done to Ghana industry, music industry, nobody has done it. I am not doing a PR for him, but the reality is there. The facts are there. Debbie Amikachiram Shatawale, he has his own flaws, and he needs that flaws. Those flaws they need to be managed. But it does not take that away from him. Say another musician would threaten his life. Are you crazy? Who the hell is Bernard Boy? When did you come? You are doing replicas of Feles music. Genuine music, you can. It is not like it is today that the music has become so cheap. But you can fight him on the level where everybody knows. Tell him your mind. But you can never threaten Shatawale. Who are you? Me see your torso is longer than your legs. You look like, with all due respect, a Mexican. And then you talk like, who? When did you show up? My worry is why are Ghanaians quiet for Nigerians to intimidate you in your own country? I was born in Nigeria. You might not know. And I will not allow anybody calling himself a Nigerian to intimidate a Ghanaian. Go to Ghana right now. They are Nigerians. They are intimidating Ghanaians. With all due respect, they are good Nigerians in Ghana. And I love them. I respect them. But some of them think they can take advantage of the system because our people are timid. Our people don't know what they want. Chatawale might not have sent a message across well, but it does not give that guy the right to say, I will end your life. Never. People are supposed to stand against Nigerian artists in Ghana and say, tell that to your Mexican African to retract that statement. You stopping to talk about this statement does not mean you are sorry about what you said. He needs to retract it. And we sit there and we smile. Hypocrite. With all due respect, they sit on TV. You know what coming out to some kwasiakika. That is why you people go begging to eat. We let you yala. And Kiyaka Ghana music, we yala should have won Ghana best musician for five years now. With all due respect to other artists, one of the best female vocalists in Ghana, best female artists in Ghana, best internationally known. But because we all will not come to Accra for you people to jojo her and say, I want to sleep with you, because oh, she is not somebody you want to promote. You people are sick. You are people are just one destroying. The last time in Mobi, so Ola, Ola Michael said, Not to TV, so eh, hey, Ka Oba, who wants them, where they're in better. Such foolish characters are in Ghana saying they want to promote the, the Ghana in music industry, entertainment. There are too many foolish idiots in there. Get rid of them. Take them out. G take the mics away from them. Chatamar Wale might be the worst musician, worst character, but nobody has the right on earth. An African like Chatawale to threaten him. Say, I will kill you. Who the hell is Bernard Boy? I will say this again. We, we know, fella. That he is the one we know. Apart from that, nobody again. It is fella we know. It is a Jacko we a Jacko anymore we know. It is A B Cancel we know. It is the people that the the, 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 the pe we know some people. You we don't know you. <laughs> that is your people. That's what they like. You can do whatever you want, and I respect your trade, but never tell that banner boy, that long torso short leg guy, say he cannot threaten a Ghanaian. He can't. And you people in the industry, you need to start speaking. You are too foolish. They will come to Ghana every day, sleep with your woman, interact, diss you, buy your property with illegal money, and then spit in your face. And you foolish people go to your sandbox, the dance bar, and go and hail them. You have better talents in Ghana. You don't look at the talent. You don't help each other. You don't find ways to build it. You are sick of fans. Sit on TV. I don't like Shata. I don't like Stone Boy. I don't like Stone Boy is good talent. Very, very good talent. I wouldn't, I wouldn't miss words. When I heard Stone Boy's Olumadi, his first, I said, this is talent. I might have my problems with him, but he's a genuine talent. He sings. He knows what he's doing. Shatawale is pure talent. Sarko, they are good. But what are you people doing to protect them? You sit there and make Nigerians intimidate your people. But I don't blame him. I don't blame them because these same musicians, they lick the butt of these Nigerians. You see Shatawale, uh, you see Sarko, you see Stone Boy, they see Nigerians, they are bowing like it. The last time I said Stone Boy and Whiskey, and Stone Boy acting as if he's whiskey schoolboy. I'm like, are you kidding me? You are a king in your own country. If you want a collaboration, collaboration, come. 
If you want to perform, we come. Don't go talk to these people. Nigerian music is powerful because of Ghana. Come for a debate and let me show you. Let me see. Nigerian music is powerful. Nigerian artists are powerful because it is Ghana. Come to Sub-Saharan Africa. We are the only people who speak English with them. We are the only people who understand their language. Togolese people don't care about Bena Boy. Burkina Bay don't care about Bona Boy. The rest don't care about Bena. It is only Ghanaians and a little bit of Gambians in Nigeria because we understand the language. So they should shut, shut up. If we close our doors to Nigerian artists, they are done.